Hey everyone, and welcome to the VGA podcast, where we talk all about video games, movies, TV shows, um, basically whatever we've been watching or playing this week. My name is Caleb, and as always, the other half of the VGA podcast is Alex. Welcome, Alex. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Doing pretty good, pretty good. Excited to talk about um, some Lord of the Rings and some Percy Jackson. Yeah, you staying warm? It's been freezing, at least out here. It's It actually was pretty warm this last week. It did rain this weekend, oh. and so it's cooled off, but it was like up in the uh, close to 70s, so I'm... I'm doing fine. In Arizona, <laughs> man. <laughs> yep. All right. So, um, first up, we will be doing a nerd pop quiz about Lord of the Rings, one of our favorite, um, you know, franchises. So, hopefully, you've uh, brushed up a little bit, and uh, we'll see, man. <laughs> yeah, see how you do on that one. And then after that, we have a video game music trivia quiz, like normal. Um, we're also going to be talking about, like I said, the Percy Jackson and the Olympians episode six. And then after that, we might try something new. We have a game here called guess the game where it shows, um, screenshots of video games and you have to guess it gives you six screenshots. I think the sixth one is actually a video of the game playing. Um, so it gets progressively easier and then, um, mm. and we guess each time to see if we can get it. So we'll try that out. See That's how that is. Cool. Seems pretty fun. Um, cool. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's get into the Nerd Pop Quiz, Lord of the Rings edition. Um, just like all the other ones, if you can get the answer without needing a multiple choice, you get two points. Um, if you need the multiple choice, then you will get one point. And for our buzzers this week, if you get it correct, you will hear this noise. And my axe. <laughs> it's got, oh, that's awesome. Got a good meme Lord of the Rings sound there. And if you get it wrong, you will hear this sound. Oh. You'll get a Nazgul scary. screaming in your ear. <laughs> scary. All right, you ready for the Lord of the Rings nerd pop quiz? Let's do it. I feel like with Lord of the Rings, I always get a little mixed up with names and stuff, so we'll see how I do. It's a lot of names. A lot of names. All right, first question. Who urged Isildur to destroy the One Ring after the defeat of Sauron in the Second Age? Who urged Isildur to destroy the One Ring? Oh, give me a multiple choice. Okay, was it Elrond, Eomer, Gandalf, or Haldir? So who was there in Mount Doom telling him to destroy it? Oh man, I don't remember. I don't. I. I don't. Uh, it wasn't Gandalf. Was it Eomer? B. All right. Let's see. Is it Eomer? Eomer. No. Oh. Eomer Who was not alive in the Second Age, unfortunately. He's the uh, horseman guy who's alive in the Third Age. Um. So uh. the correct answer is Elrond. Elrond was there telling Isildur to destroy Elrond, it. Elrond, man. Okay. You're going to start, like, it told you. once you hear these names a few times, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. And so I think you might get uh, better as it goes on. <laughs> that, yeah, the names, unless I had just watched it, the names have always confused me in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see how I do. Yep. So far, not good. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the first council member to join Frodo in the Fellowship? Uh, it was... Uh, um, his name was... I know, I know this one. Uh, 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 Boromir. Final answer, I Let's believe. Let's see. Is it Boromir? <laughs> no, no! It wasn't. Oh, wait! Uh, here's the oh, here's the wait, options. Wait, wait. Okay. Was so it you, a hobbit? It was a dang hobbit, wasn't it? Let's okay, see. Well, let's see if you got if you're on the right track. Is it Aragorn? It wasn't Boromir. Was it Gimli or was it Gandalf? Oh my god, I I don't remember. Was it then was it Aragorn then? Final answer? Let's see. Is it Aragorn? 
<laughs> oh my god! It, it was. was? Oh my. And I why pulled... did I always think Boromir volunteered first? Oh my god! I, I this might be. I'd have to go back and rewatch it, but I think Gandalf like kind of sets up the scene as to what's going on and says that he's going along with them. So I think that's what um, it's kind of, kind then, of saying. Yeah, that's. And then out, you're but... thinking of the first one that's like stepping up and being like, "I'll go with him," but Gandalf, yeah, kinda, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. And, and I pulled all these questions from my Lord of the Rings Trivial Pursuit um, game. So, Ooh. yeah. Okay. That's the source of these questions. Yes, so it's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure they can get stuff wrong too, but if one of these is wrong, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, who counsels Frodo saying that bearing a ring of power means being alone? Is that Aragorn? Final answer? Is it Aragorn? No, it is not. Jesus Christ. Okay, right, here's, what's the multiple here's the multiple choice. Is it Gandalf, Galadriel, Elrond, or Theoden? And if you need help remembering is who it, these are, I can, I can give you an idea. Is it Galadriel, I think? Final answer. Let's see if it's Lady Galadriel. And mine. Nice. Oh, yes. Thank God. <laughs> That's right when they're in the forest, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, around that like mirror or the the water thing in the middle. Yep. That's right. What realm is home to the shards of Narsil in the Third Age? So like what place, what city holds uh, the shards of Narsil? Uh that Narsil is That's the um, that's the sword that's all shattered. It's the one Isildur used to like strike the ring off Sauron's hand, and the one that Aragorn eventually uses. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, give me multiple choice. I feel like I'll get it if I see it. Okay, is it in Lothlorien, Rivendell, Gondor, or Rohan? Hmm. Rohan. I said that like Gohan, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Rohan. I don't know. Ooh. It is. Thank God. Thank Thank. Man, I'm going to say. Uh, I'm going to say maybe. God, I, I, can, I can give you a hint if you want. Sure, give me a hint. It's kind of connected to the first question of who was with Isildur when he tossed the ring, or didn't toss the ring. Oh, okay. Uh, is, oh, is it... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna guess. God, uh, dude, I, I, I am freaking. I am freaking forgetting. I'll, I'll say, uh, Gondor. Then final answer. Let's see. Is it Gondor? <laughs> no. Oh my God. It's Rivendell, where uh, Elrond um, is. He has the shards of Narsil. Oh yeah, no, no that's right. That's right. Yep. Oh Lord, I would say I should have watched his movies, but you know that would have required like <laughs> yeah, a long, a long time. <laughs> you should have watched some recaps Man. on YouTube or something. <laughs> I should have actually. That's not a bad idea. Man. Oh. What is the dwarven name for the mines of Moria? Mines of Moria. 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 Right. Moria. Moria. Yep. And I think I'll bring up the multiple choice and you can still get two points because these they're hard names. So is the dwarven name okay. for the Mines of Moria, Gundabad? I think I remember. Khazad Doom, the Mines of Angabar, or Belagost? I believe it's Khazad Doom. Let's, Let's see, is it Khazad Doom? Nice. Axe. Yes. Yay! That is correct. I, I Yay, remember that. I got one. 
I remember that so specifically because one time we were playing Trivial Pursuit with, I think it was you, me, and Brandon, your brother. And uh, uh, on the last question, you guys were trying to pick a question to stump me. And it was, what's the only uh, piece of architecture in uh, in the Mines of Moria? And it's the Bridge of Khazad Doom. Uh, I got it right. And I will never forget and that. I'll never forget that name. Yep. <laughs> I almost put that question in here, but I felt like, I don't know if you would have just remember that instantly or not know it completely or so i didn't put that out. one in yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. okay who in the fellowship deals the killing blow to the cave troll in moria Ooh, that's a good question uh oh man okay let me think of the let me think of the scene so it wasn't Frodo. Oh, I think it was. Ooh. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to like go through the scene in my head. Yep. So I believe it's Legolas shooting the arrows in the head, right? Final answer. Let's see. Is it Legolas? And my yes. Axe. Good job. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's a great yeah. scene. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he like jumps all around it and flips about it, and then I can't remember if he. Sh I think he does That's shoot right. it in the face or something. Yeah. But doesn't he like hop on his shoulders and like shoot like three arrows straight in the head or something? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. So I think that was the something very first. That was the very first scene I ever saw. Like as a trailer, they like put out part of that scene with the drums and the cave. Oh, drum. really? That was I saw that. And I'm like, I have to see this. <laughs> that was back when I was like. <laughs> nine or ten so did you see that in theaters i believe so yeah 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 so did i who does aomer say can no longer recognize friend from foe aomer is who is a morgan He's the um he's the one played by Carl Urban. He's the horse master guy from Rohan. Oh. Oh, that's right. Um Is it uh Theoden, right? Theoden? Let's I don't see. sound confident. Final answer <laughs> is it Theoden? Yes, Theoden. very good. Okay, a nice yeah, memory. Yeah. Okay. Right. See, I told you it's coming back to you. It's coming back. You're, you're right. You're right. What threatening sound shakes Sam awake from his sleep in the dead marshes? This one is in the two towers. Oh, isn't it the, uh, um, isn't it, hmm, it's the, uh, oh, sorry, what, in the, in the dead marshes. Yep, that, like, swamp area with the dead people in the water. Yeah, I remember that. Was it the, uh, I don't know, it's like the, what are those things, right, those dragons? I don't remember what those are called. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think I said it earlier I'm, in the... Yeah, you, uh, you did say it earlier, um... And there's two names for him, so if you give me either name, I'll give it to you. Okay. Yeah. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like the multiple voice? Okay, does he yeah. hear horns blowing, an Oliphant's trumpet, a ringwraith scream, or orcs marching? Uh, C, final answer. And yep, and I think yep. I'm gonna give you two points for that. You knew what it was. You just couldn't remember the name I of just, it. 
I couldn't remember the freaking yep, name. They're man. called Ring Wraiths or Nazgul. Yep, you got it. Nazgul. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Man. <laughs> this is going to make you want to go back and rewatch them all now. I know. Jeez. Okay. Feel ashamed. <laughs> What creature's voice is provided by the same actor who plays Gimli, John Reese Davies? Oh, a creature's voice. I didn't know he voiced a creature. Give me, give me the multiple choice. Okay, does he voice Sauron, Treebeard, the Balrog, or Shelob? Mm, I think Treebeard, final answer. Let's see, does he voice Treebeard? Yes. I feel like I remember this question now that now that you like gave me the answers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep, he play he does both. Who is the only cast member of the original trilogy to have actually met J.R.R. Tolkien? And you can give me the actor's name or just the character name. If you can't remember the actor's name, that's fine too. Okay. Um it, I think it's hmm. It's is it a no, is it Gandalf? Uh uh hold on. I'm not sure yet. I think it's no, it's not Gandalf. No, 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 no. I'm mixing it up. It's it's Christopher Lee. Let's Final see. Answer. Is it Saruman, Christopher Lee? And mine. It ah. is. Yeah, okay. Nice, yes. I mixed it up for a second. I'm like, wait. I knew it was one of the wizards. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Yep. It was one of the oldies. <laughs> yep. Well, it'd have to be. <laughs> I literally yeah, yeah. put the four That's oldest true. actors on That's here true. as answers. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you should have put uh, you put should put Frodo, man. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. There's a couple of stories about Christopher Lee where he just sounds like so cool. There, there's another one where um, Peter Jackson was telling him how to act, like told him how to act differently one time when getting stabbed in the back by Grima, and Christopher Lee just mm. says. That's not what a man sounds like when he gets stabbed and then just like walks away. That's like <laughs> so crazy sounding. <laughs> oh, RIP, man. I know. He's awesome. Uh, I love Christopher oh, Lee. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's funny. What's another name for the seeing stone that Saruman uses to communicate with Sauron? Uh, it is the. Give me the multiple choice. All right. I feel like I'll get this. Is it called a palanquin, paladin, palantir, or palazzo? Ooh. Is it palantir? Final answer. So you're saying C, palantir? C, C, yep, C. Let's see. Is it palantir? And yep. Mine. You got it. <laughs> nice. What city does the skeleton of the White Tree of Gondor stand in? Ooh, that's the, uh... This one you might need Ooh. the multiple choice. I feel like I... It's... Uh... Okay, give me... Give me the multiple choice. I'm pretty sure I'll get it. Is it? Minas Morgul, Rivendell, Minas Tirith, or Osgiliath? Oh, it's Minas Tirith. Let's see. Let's see. Minas Tirith. Is that correct? And yep. My axe. Nice. <gasps> Yahoo! All right. It's coming back to you. What object does Frodo use to light the darkness in Shelob's lair? Oh, it's the, uh, isn't it the, like, if you drink it, you get, like, lucky or something? Oh, man. Give me the multiple choice. Okay, is it 
a torch? Does he use Sting? Does he use the Mirror of Galadriel or the Light of Arendil? Ooh. Oh, man. Man, is it... It's the Light of Galadriel, I believe. I think. Final answer. Let's see, is it the Light of Arendil? My yep, mm -hmm. that is correct. Okay. okay. And yeah. I was just doing a little, uh, little research because I think you're mixing it up with Veritas Serum from Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, yeah. it, just, it pretty much just creates light. It looks like it is um, from Galadriel's Fountain, the Mirror of Galadriel. So I might have given you that one, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's the liquid from that in a in a vial. Yeah, and it. Creates I remember that vial liquid, yeah. Yep. I yeah, you I, I know, could tell I you remember the liquid vial, but that, I think the the, mm -hmm. the luck part is uh Felix or it wasn't Veritas it was Felix Felicis that you were thinking of. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 from Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh man. What kind of creatures are used by the orcs to power the black gate of Mordor? Isn't it? Isn't it cave trolls? Final answer. Let's see. Is it trolls? And my yes, trolls. I will accept cave okay. trolls because yep, it is trolls that they have up there. Yay! Okay, I'm doing a little better. Yeah, you're getting it. You're getting it. All right. Last question. Where does Gandalf hope the Eye of Sauron is focused in the final days of the war? Uh, in Mordor. Final answer? Let's see. Is it Mordor? <laughs> no, no, it is not. Oh, so, wait, that's the opposite. Okay, what is it? Fire, that, give me the multiple choice. Yeah, Sorry. that is the opposite. He hopes it's not focused yes. on Mordor. Yes. <laughs> Does he oh, hope it's Almighty. focused on the Shire, Minas Tirith, or Isengard? Minas Tirith? No, Isengard, final answer. Let's see, is it Isengard? No, 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 oh. no, 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 Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith. Final answer. Final answer, final okay, answer, final, okay. answer, final answer, locking it in. Is it? Show me Minas Tirith. Yeah. Yeah. Good switch yes. at the last second there. <laughs> All right. Well, you got 18 correct out of 18 points out of 30. And you definitely started picking it up there at the end. Yes. Hey, I mean, <laughs> I knew I'd get confused. I, I, I warned you from the beginning, but yeah. 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 Okay. No, I thought that was pretty good, especially I, you probably haven't watched them in a while. So. No, yeah. I mean I, I I haven't watched them in, I mean over a year or two. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But re like reading these questions and trying to pick good ones, it made me want to go back and rewatch them. So I might do that soon. I know, I know, I need to too. Oh. Okay, let's move on to the music trivia quiz, where you have to guess the game based on the song that I play from the game. So if you get okay. the game right, you score a point. And if you are struggling, I can look up the year the game was released and give you that as a hint. Okay. The first one, what is this song from? Hmm. Might sound like bulk of music. <laughs> it does, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Wait, I'll need that hint. What year? So this was I like released. It, <laughs> I know. I love the song. This was released in 2001. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not interested. I'm not totally sure you played this game. To be fair, so. Um. Hmm. I'm just gonna take a guess. That's what GameCube days is. Is just give me another hint. Is it on the GameCube? It is not. I'll give you an even bigger hint. It's on the PC. Ooh, okay. 
I really like the song. I know, it's though. such a good song. I don't know. I honestly do not know. Dumped. I, I don't even have a guess. Okay, I'll bring it up for you then. This was from RuneScape. This is the oh. Sea Shanty 2. An amazing song uh, while you're fishing. It's a good I, game. I did, I did play this. I didn't play as much as my friends did, but I played I did play. a ton of this game when I was younger. And tried it again recently. It's still still fun. I was gonna, wait, it's still it's still up? Oh you can play it on like your phone now. They have yeah, you can play it really? a ton of different ways, yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Yep. Still kicking. They, they released like this old school RuneScape version of it. Um and it's on PC, it's on mobile. Yeah, and it's still Do they have their old school fun. RuneScape on, on the app store? And I'm gonna look. I think so, yeah. I, that's how I played it, I think. Oh yeah, they do. Old school RuneScape, yeah. yeah. Give it a try. It's a great game. Wow. It has better reviews than the new RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I believe that. I have heard nothing about the new RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Huh. Okay, what is this next song from? I have ideas. What what year was this made or out? Whatever. Let's see. This was released in two thousand nine. Yeah. Okay. And that does. Is this? Hmm. What I'm thinking is, ah, oh, it was nine. Let me think. That was, is that like the 360 days? Yep. PS2 days or three days? Yep. I believe we played this on 360. Is this Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2? Let's see. Is it answer? Left 4 Dead 2? Yeah, yep. okay. Nice. You got I'm it. I'm not sure if the first one came out in 2009 or second They came one. out really close to each other. The first one, I think, came out in 2008. Okay, so they're just like a year apart. Yeah. And then they never oh, released one games. since. <laughs> yeah, those were great games. Yeah, I cannot believe they haven't released more. I love those games. I know. Who, who made that? Valve. Like what, uh... They can't make threes. Oh. Half-Life 3, Left 4 Dead 3, <laughs> Portal 3, none of them. No threes. No threes. Uh, I wish they'd come out with a Portal 3, too. I and Half-Life 3. I know. Oh, you're right, all the three. I know. Uh, yeah. Okay, Ooh. next game for you to try and figure out. This literally sounds like something I just played. Oh, oh yeah, Final Fantasy. Or not, sorry, uh, well, yeah, but Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingdom Hearts yeah. 2, dearly beloved, yeah. for sure. It is uh, both something you just played and also does contain Final Fantasy, and I will accept that, yes. <laughs> I oh, love I this love song. this so much. Yeah. I'll literally sit in the menu and listen to this freaking song, dude. Yeah, it's so good. All of Kingdom oh. Hearts music is so good. Oh, they are. Even like the intro, like I just started Kingdom Hearts 3 and the intro song, that one, I love that too. Yeah. I don't know if you remember it, the beginning song. I remember liking it. I, I would definitely recognize mm -hmm. it if I heard it, but yeah, I don't remember it yeah, off the top yeah. of my head. So fun. That's why I put that in there though, because I knew you were playing 3. So I was like, I'll toss this one like, in here. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I know, it sounds familiar. <laughs> Too familiar. <laughs> yep. Okay, next song.
Um. Oh man, what year? This came out in 2000. 2000, okay, so that, okay. Hmm. That's, this is 64. Or PS2, was it PS2 2000? Uh, or 2001? I think after PS2 release date was, uh, yeah, March 4th, 2000. Hmm. Okay, is this? Is that? It sounds like it, but it doesn't. I'm gonna say it. Is it a? Uh, is it Majora's Mask or no? Let's see. Is it Majora's Mask? No, it is not. No. It's a good guess. Is it Paper Mario? Ooh, that's also a good guess. But unfortunately, no, it is not. Ah, what is it? This is Pokemon Stadium 2 for the mini games. Oh. I loved playing those mini games. Yeah. Okay. I love playing. Pokemon, I love Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah. I know it sounds familiar. Game. I just couldn't quite put my finger on it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Next up. Wait, is this is this the Lord of the Rings game? Uh, Return of the King. I'm gonna say. Let's see. Is it Return of the King? <laughs> yes, yes. God, I love this game, dude. Yeah, both of the games, the Two Towers and the Return of the King games, were both so fun. Mm -hmm. I want them to remake them. Shoot, that'd be awesome. I, I do too. I, I really do. Some of those games in the PS2 and like the the GameCube era, yeah, were just like the. They're so simple and fun. Yeah, that's how I would describe this game to a T for sure. Mm hmm. Just simple and fun. Amazing game. Like, you don't need nothing complicated or crazy. You're just having fun and playing a game. Yeah, this might be one of the better, like, movie video games, honestly. Oh, for sure. I think so too. Like, off the top of my head, this, this for sure is one, it's definitely in the top. This one and, like, um, the Wolverine, the X-Men Origins Wolverine. That was a pretty good movie game. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, nothing else really comes to oh. mind uh, that I had this much fun with. And then, well, and then they have the, uh, I mean, you had like Goldeneye. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, true. Do you count that? Yeah, I would count or you have like, that, I guess. Because you have like you have like games that are based on the movie that comes out and that one does, but like, you can't count like, like alien isolation or Marvel Spider-Man right, two. Right. Yeah. No, I like wouldn't, I wouldn't count those, those based off like, the movie. Yeah. Movie tie in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Those might be one of the best ones. Did you ever play the Harry Potter, like the old Harry Potter ones? Oh man, I did. I, and I saw a screenshot of them recently. <laughs> they look so bad. But yeah, I like those games too. Those were pretty, pretty fun. <laughs> I, I watched a video on those. I used to play them all the time too, and yeah, they they don't look the greatest, but man, <laughs> they were so fun. Yeah, they were. They were. Well, the, you know the Spider Man Two game. That's a great one too. Yeah, I guess there and were that, some good. I ones. think that ties in to the uh, to the Spider Man Two movie. I think. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Also, the Episode Three game was pretty good. Okay, so there were some good mm -hmm. games based on movies. I take it back. Yeah, well, back then, not anymore. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, I don't even know. If, do they even make them now? I don't know. At least, like for major movies, I remember, can't... like almost every major movie would have a game. Yeah, I can't remember the last one that came out like that. Oh, the Kong I... game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, but I know they make games like based off of like like kids shows. You know, like Paw Patrol. Like I have a Paw yeah. Patrol game for my kid my kids but like like an actual big movie yeah like i don't, I, I don't know like like the marvels came out like 15 years ago they would have had a game just alongside true. that movie that's true but okay oh sometimes they're fun yeah some of the older ones are really good mm -hmm. all right next up Oh, man. 
Is this a uh, Super Mario Sunshine? Ooh, you are I'm very close. It's not. It's not Mario Sunshine. It's not. I'm tempted to give it to you. Um, is it Odyssey? No, it's not. What is it? <laughs> it's it's Mario Party Four in a oh. Koopa Seaside Soiree. Like, I think I'm gonna give you oh. a point for that. Like, you got the right. It's Mario. <laughs> And it's coastal. That, 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 sounds, <laughs> that sounds identical to Mario Sunshine, man. Yeah. I was so confident. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, yeah, and you got the Lord of the Wing Rings one, right? So I'll give you a point for Lord that. of the Wings. <laughs> Lord of the Wings. Okay, so you have four points right now. And here's the next one. Getting down. Yeah, that's a good song. What year is this? This came out like in 2000, 2011. Oh, 2011. Interesting. Getting down. So is that we 360? Interesting. Mm, what yep. does this sound like? It sounds... Is it a racing game? It is not a racing game. But you can, I think you yeah. can race in it, in it, but it's not specifically a racing game. Not specifically, okay. And Man, I'll, I... I'll give you this hint. It's a game with multi, like there's multiple, like there's a one, two, three. Um, but this is the first one I played, and it's not the first one in the series. I don't know if that'll help, but. Oh, it's a one, two, three. Okay. I think there's four of them altogether. The only. Mm, it kind of sounds like. like the thing I think of maybe that you you haven't played all of them or you played first is, is it Saints Row? Let's see. No? Is asking? it Saints Row? Hey, Saints Row the Third. Yes, that was a yeah, really fun that's... game. That game you can just kind of do whatever you want and be crazy. That's the first one I played too. Yeah. I think it's the only one I played. I think I played the fourth one also. Okay. Okay. I didn't even know it was fourth. I think there is. Is there not? Saints Row... I mean, you're probably right. Or... Yeah, that one came out in 2013. Yeah, I played that one. Oh, well, okay. Alright. Next one up. That sounds beautiful. Yeah. Um, and so familiar. Yep. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, why does it sound so... What year? It sounds so familiar. This came out in 2012. Oh, it sounds so beautiful. Think of the emotion it's trying to get you to feel, and think of games that made you feel that emotion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sounds so beautiful. Uh, it... 2012. Epic Mickey 2. Just get, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, is it uh, Epic Mickey 2? Wait, 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 I think I, I, I <laughs> got a guess. I'm not going as your guess, but... I remember, I, I remember. <laughs> hey, go ahead, you can guess, you can guess. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I, I know it now, it came back to me. The Walking Dead, the Telltale Walking Dead game. Is it Telltale Walking Dead? 
It is, yes, yes. Amazing yeah. game. Because, oh my god, that, that game was so good. Yeah. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, there's two more. Hey, don't, and... knock, don't knock on Epic Mickey, man. I love Epic Mickey. I never played them, actually. Are they good? No. Uh-uh. They're, they're fun little... 3D platformers. Yeah, they looked like it. I just never, never the played them. The first one, at least, not the second one. Oh, okay. Hmm. I wish they would remake that for the Switch. To be honest. Yeah, that would be a good one to remake. Okay, there's two more. And to be fair, I made the last one really hard, so I don't know if you're gonna get uh -oh. it. But, um, but this one. Have I played it? I don't know. That's the question. So okay. we'll see. But, Thank but God. we're jumping ahead a little bit. You definitely played this one. Okay. Heck, what year? This came out in two thousand and seven. Hmm, does sound familiar. Oh, man. Oh, man. It sounds like... I'm, I'm stumped. I'm going to say... I am so stumped right now. It sounds so familiar, though. Yep, 2007. It's... What does it say? What it came out on? Oh, man. It was on... Windows 360, PS3, Mac OS, and iOS? Really? I don't know about that one, but maybe... In 2007? I think since then it had to be. Oh, huh? yeah. Yeah, it's on the App Store. Really? Yep. What? In two... Oh, uh, it uh, must have been, it's, it's been released. Like, it wasn't released in 2007 on the App Store, I'm sure. It's, it's been released afterwards. after that. Yeah, I think in 2022 it was released on the App Store. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'll just take a guess. I'll say, uh... What kind oh, of man. genre... What kind of genre do you think this is? Let's walk you through this a little bit. I, I thought... It it sounds like a... I don't know, kind of like a... A mystery adventure type game. Like a, like a portal type game. Hmm, okay. Uh, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, give me another hint, even if it's not for a point, because I can't take a guess right now. I don't know. It's, if you can, give me a hint. I'll give you the genre that it's in. This might help. And there's multiple things to it. So, the genres on Wikipedia are first-person shooter, role-playing video game, action-adventure game, survival horror. Survival horror? Survival horror? Interesting. First person, so basically a first person survival horror action shooter. With some RPG Interesting. elements. With some, with some RPG elements. And I'm pretty sure there's like puzzles and stuff in the game too. It's a great game. I never finished it. Okay. I never finished That's... this one. You never finished it either. I need to. But I never did. Is it the f is it the first Bioshock game? That is correct. It is Bioshock one. Okay. Uh, yep. Welcome to Rapture. I don't have to get a point for that one, but man, okay, I, I got there. Yeah, yeah. I, got there I knew you with could get multiple there. Hints. Yeah. <laughs> this next one, I'm going to give you a lot of hints on too, because I honestly don't know if you've ever even heard of this game, but okay. I I played this game when I was younger, and I liked it, so. Alright, first, just give, give me the year. Yeah, let me look it up. 
I'll give you the I'll give you the year in the system. This came out in okay. 1998 on the oh, it's on a lot of things now. Um, but it was on the N64 and on? Windows when it first released. I played it on the N64. Okay, let's see here. The 64. So it's not. I'm trying to. I'm gonna go down my list. Uh, um, let's see. List. Think of the games I played. Pretty obscure game. No. Well, yeah, I'm going through the list game. in my head. On Steam, it has a <laughs> okay. six out of ten. So you know. I remember it being uh, hard, but it wasn't hard necessarily because the game was hard. The game was just kind of janky. Okay. I have some, so I'm going through like a list in my head, so it's obviously not the main ones. One I could think of that I have played, but very little, but it's kind of one that kind of sounds like it, and I know it's not my other ones, is, is it Bomberman? Final it's answer? It's not Bomberman. That's a good guess. Yeah. That is a more obscure yeah. one that not a lot, I don't think a lot of people have played. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay, let me take another guess here if I can think of anything. Well, I don't know, man. That's kind of that was my best guess. That is it. Uh, Wave Racer. Do you ever play that? Uh, I don't think I ever did. No, and it is not Wave mm. Racer. What is it? I, uh, I don't know. Oh, well, or if you want to give me another hint, I could try to. It's a maybe I haven't even played it. Yeah, you might not have even played it's it. A it's platformer? a pla platformer. Yep. Ooh. Single player platform puzzle action adventure made by Hasbro, which I did not know. It sounds up my alley, but I don't I, it, I don't know. I don't think I've played it, whatever it is. Yeah, so you I don't think you have either. Answer. This is Glover. Well, have you ever I have heard not. Of I, I've heard of it, but I've never played it. It's a weird game, but it, it's it was fun. It was, I enjoyed it. It was good. It was, well, it was like your people eh, don't like it though uh well on google 95 percent of people like this game but on steam it's got a six out of ten mm. maybe because it's old um i yeah. loved i liked it a lot but it was a hard game so i don't cool. know I, I doubt it was the best made game if i went back and played it now i'm pretty sure the controls are yeah. really weird and but uh, i mean you enjoyed it yeah i had fun yeah yeah hmm. interesting all right, so you got six out of ten. I'll give you six and a half with, with the Bioshock. <laughs> six and a half out of ten. All right, that's I. <laughs> I usually I, I like an eight or better, but yeah, I had some hard ones in there. Yeah. Lover was really hard. There were some I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, that you'd one play. I would have known. Um, but like RuneScape, I wasn't sure how much you played. Lover. Mario Party was hard. But yeah, yeah, I think you did pretty good. Yeah, decent. You know, took me a while. Some of these things, like I said, like it it sounds like it'd be obvious, but when I like when you're sitting here and you're thinking of all these games, like sometimes I can't nail down. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's easy when you have a subject, right? Like, oh it's a horror game or it's right. this game. But when you don't have anything, like there's I so can't, many sometimes possibilities. I can't place it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Okay, so do you, should we do should we try out this guess the game first and then move on to Percy Jackson? Uh yes. Do... Well, okay. Let's do the let's do the guess the game and then and then I want to talk about Lord of the Rings for a second. Oh, true. Okay. Yeah, let's try this. Let's do like 5, maybe 10 depending on how long it takes us. Um Okay. So we'll do this one. This one's today's and then we can go pick a random one and just go from there. So, any guesses okay. on this one? An old game? Definitely an old <laughs> game. I don't recognize it I don't yet. recognize the guy. Um, but an old game like this that I didn't really play, that maybe we just throw out for the first one, is like, maybe Chrono Trigger? I don't think it's it, but... Might as well try it. It looks kind of from that time. Okay, not... Is not Chrono Trigger. It does mm. give us a Metacritic score, but this one's too old. <laughs> I still. I don't I don't know. know. I... Yeah, let's skip this one and see the next one. SNES. 
Interesting. Oh, I feel like I recognize it a little more, but that might just be because it looks exactly like Golden Sun. But Golden Sun was on the Game Boy. Maybe this is an old Final Fantasy. Like Final Fantasy 3 or 1 or 2. If So if we guess Final Fantasy 3 and it's like Final Fantasy 2, this will change to like a yellow to tell us we're in the right like franchise. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it was Final Fantasy four oh. or no six, which was Final Fantasy three in America, I believe. Oh, so hey, nice. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's, that was all you. <laughs> Not bad. That was interesting. I don't think I played that one. I didn't. Um. So we're gonna go oh, wow, to lot. yeah. We're gonna do play random game, and it'll give us one. Once it loads. Okay. Huh. Um. I don't know. <laughs> um, it looks like crayons or something. Yeah, it kind of does. I I originally thought this might be like telephone or like electric, but electric wires, you know. But I think. This is like some DS game, like Picto Chat or something. Or it could be like WarioWare. Oh, it could be WarioWare. Like a little mini game. Yeah, let's throw out a WarioWare. That definitely could be. Oh, is it one? I think it's one word. Let's do WarioWare Touched because it looks like it could be a. Oh, interesting. No. So it wasn't WarioWare. Huh. That 89% Metascore critic. It has some interesting, like, cell shading. 89%. I don't think it's this, but I'm going to throw looks, maybe, like, 13. And this, looks, this looks different from the first one, too, like, art style. Yeah. Something. I know 13 has hmm. a really cell shaded like first person shooter, but this doesn't really look like a first person shooter. But let's just no. throw it out there and see the yeah, next picture. No. Oh. Oh, this okay, so this is definitely newer. Oh, PS4 game. Yeah, we okay, it definitely is like a game that has I think I'm trying Fire, to think. 1X, block. Progress. Hmm. It, hmm. Is it a? Uh, oh, uh. Oh man. I don't even know. It almost looks like Geometry Wars or something weird like that, but it's it's not. That. Yeah. But. Is it that Thumper game or whatever it's called? Thumper? Thumper? Is it Thumper? We can just throw it out there. Sure. No. Action oh, game. No. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Was um, it only on a PS4? Because we didn't play much PS4. Yeah, that's true. Um... Action oh, PS4. Man. Is this this isn't like That's a good score? Near game is it like near automata? I don't think so. This I feel like looks... kind of reminds me of near, but but then like it's all different, like style. Yeah, I don't know. Let's skip this one. We might not know this one, so okay. What the yeah, heck? 2016. I, I don't. I don't think we know. I one. still don't know this one. Oh, uh, this is Res Infinite. Oh, we definitely did not. Definitely, I never even heard of that. Did not know that one. <laughs> Let's try another one. We'll, Interesting. We'll get these. Okay, so there's some like sodas or energy drinks in a trash can. Oh. This kind of looks like that one, um, what is that called? It's the one where you like run and 
like it's a multiplayer game where you all run next to each other and if you get far enough ahead you kill the other guys oh, oh what is that I'm called something runner though. I don't remember what that's called. I'm gonna be annoyed if that's I it. Don't either. Let's <laughs> just go with Hyperload Runner. Oh, it's not. I don't think it's that. A chair. It's that, huh? Okay, so there's a chair falling or something. Definitely like cartoony, some sort of 3D graphics, which this did not really look 3D to me. No. 83% on Metacritic. Is this some like a uh, weird indie type thing, like Untitled Goose Game or something? Not that's not it. That's not a guess, but like yeah. some something weird like that. Yeah, or like Human Fall Flat, or oh yeah, mm. um, that's what this kind of like art style is mm -hmm. giving me. Should we just put in Human Fall Flat? Yeah, try that. iPhone. Mm. And on Switch. iPhone, on iPad, Mac, PC, Switch. Interesting. I don't really know how this looks, but it could be, like, totally accurate battle simulator? Abs? Nope. Action and oh, sports. That, that, that kind of looks familiar it's action so it's a sports game yeah is it uh there's the chair what's it called i don't think i know the name of this one mm, i feel like i've I feel like a. Uh... Is there a different kind of ball flat that's like sports? Because that's what it looks like. I can't think of it. Should I skip to the next picture? Maybe it'll jog your memory. Yeah, yeah you can skip. I never played this game. 2019. Let's see what the game Is looks it, like. Uh... In, or Unless you have a guess, we can throw out a guess. Um, I'm trying to think. It's, uh, I think it's called Summer. It's like Summer Sports. I think Summer Sports something. Or maybe just Summer Sports Game. Summer Sports Games. I th yeah, try that. Ooh, no. no? Try Ooh. Band Production APS. What is this? It kind of looks fun, <laughs> but I did not. Play yeah, it. it does. I do not know. There were some other things that came up with summer sports games. Summer sports, Paradise Island. Yeah, I don't know. Should we just do uh, summer sports two? Sure. Summer sports Paradise Island. Oh, it's what the goal. I've heard of it, but I've never I've, seen what it looks like. I've heard of that too. And interesting. And I thought you were golfing. That doesn't look like golfing. To me. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what is this one? This looks like a, it looks like a PC game, like a mist type of game. Yeah. It almost looks like an RTS type game to me, but like the camera's oh, in a weird oh, spot yeah. for an RTS, so. But it looks like they're building a camp, like a camp, a house is there. Type in civilization. <laughs> yeah, we could do a Civ. This looks pretty old. Looks you want to do like Civ 2 or something? Sure. Well, that, it's like, what is that, like Romans? Doesn't help, something? yeah. <laughs> Greek or Roman. Is Which like would fit Roman... with Civ? Could it be Age yeah. of Empires? Oh yeah, you could. Yeah, I'd try that. I feel like maybe like Age of Empires two. 
Oh, it's in the right. Yeah, we're definitely is, in the right. It's Age of Empires 1, then, is probably. It? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, hey, we did pretty good on that yeah, one. Yeah, I knew this looked like an RTS. I just, you don't, you don't normally see it from this angle. <laughs> no. Uh, Sweet. Okay, that was the first one we were like, okay, I'm... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Ooh. Uh, Donkey Kong. That's exactly Country. what I was thinking. Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> but which one? One, two, three, or uh, Tropical Freeze or Returns? I'd say, I'd say one or two. Yeah, let's say one. Oh no! No, oh. I've seen this guy. I feel like this looks like a DS game to me. Yeah, it looks yeah, it looks very uh. But. I don't know. Uh, I don't recognize that guy. Yeah, let's skip this one and see the next one. 64. 64. Is this... Is this... Hmm. Hmm. Who is this? I feel like I've seen him, but I don't know it. It definitely looks like 64 now that it says that. Yeah. Oh, is this, is this, like, Dark Cloud, maybe? No? Multiplayer. Is it... Oh, is it Bomberman 64? Oh, it could be. Bomberman 64. There's a lot of Bombermans. Yeah, let's start out there. That glove kind of looks like Bomberman. Mm -hmm. It's Mario mm -hmm. Party? What? Really? I guess that's why it looks familiar to us. Yeah. Who is... Which I one, though? I... Is it the first one? I feel like it's what one Mario or two. Uh, isn't it just called Mario Party 64? I think it's just or, called Mario Party. I guess Party. the first one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah the first it was the first one. one. Wow, it's been a long time since I played the first one because I know I mean, it looks familiar, that but me off. yeah, that's a weird one. That oh yeah, there's a thwomp there or one of those yeah, not a thwomp <laughs> but whatever. It's all it is. coming back. Huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this looks, uh, you know this looks like the like when you're uh, what are those things called where you could. You twist the knobs and it draws something oh, and you shake yeah, it. Oh, yeah, the etch a sketch. It kind of does look like an yeah. etch a sketch. It looks like an etch a sketch, or at least a Is part there of an it. Etch a sketch game? <laughs> nope, nope, I don't think so. Nope. Hmm. Aww. I, I don't got nothing on face off of that. I feel that. like it's black in black and white, or like. Oh, what was that one? I don't know. Let's skip this one and see the next one. Oh. I don't know if I know this one either. Whatever it is, I I, I would recognize a game like this. And oh, I have Xbox. Xbox One and PC, so it's recent. Oh, Xbox Series X and S, so I definitely haven't played this. Oh, and Xbox One. I haven't... Uh... Hmm. Weird. What is this game? Adventure. 2021. 2021. Yeah, I'm just going to skip to the gameplay because I don't think I know it. Weird. Whoa, I mean, it looks kind of cool. Yeah. It was Sable. I don't know what it is. Oh, I've heard of that. But I've yeah, heard that, the name, not... but I don't think I've seen it because that did not look familiar. Let's mm -hmm. do a, a couple more. A couple more. Mm. Huh. It's a window. <laughs> it is a window. It kind of actually looks like a familiar window, though. Yeah, it does. I almost want to say Ocarina of Time, but I don't think that is the one on the. 
the Temple of Time. And it looks oh, now it looks it looks a little better graphics than that too. Hmm. I can skip this one. I, I I don't know if I'll get it off better. Not rated oh. on Metacritic, so it's old. What in the world? Oh, that one threw me off. Yeah, I'm gonna skip again. Oh. Oh, that looks familiar. Yeah. Is it? Oh, man. It's on PC. I feel like I've played on that map. What's a PC only shooter? I feel like this is a shooter. That does look familiar, though. I'm just going to throw out Unreal Tournament to see if it's one of those. No. Lag, first person Lag. shooter. What have green there? It's like an elevator. If it's not rated hmm. on Metacritic, it's either really old or kind of obscure. Um, let's see, what's another PC only first person shooter? That's older. I don't think it'd be Counter Strike. Counter Strike wouldn't have that green. Um, is it a Doom? An older Doom, but not. Was there. Hmm. Or what's that? Oh, what's that one? What about like Quake? Quake, that's the one I was thinking of. Let's put in a Quake. Let's do like Quake 3 Arena. Nope. No. Well, maybe that one. Is this like the first Team Fortress or something? I have no idea how old. I've only seen Team Fortress 2. Let's try it. Oh, it's Team Fortress oh, Classic. Classic. Nice. Weird. I've never seen the original Team Fortress. I haven't either. That's crazy. Interesting. Okay, let's do one more and then we'll be done. So this okay. one, it's all on this one. That looks like Stan. Oh, Dig Dug? <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it kind of does look like the layers in Dig Dug, doesn't it? Yeah, that does look like Stan's right there. And Maybe people. it's an old racing game or something? Uh, what is it's blue, red, orange, yellow? What yeah. is all that, though? Weird. Let's do, so like, they're all old... looking at something. Let's do, like, World Series Baseball. I don't know. The soccer? Is that or what is that? I can't tell if that's a soccer. I don't know. What in the? Okay, uh, it does come. Kind of, is that soccer? It has a, a meta. Yeah, it has a Metacritic score, so it can't be that old. On the DS, oh, it's like a sport, like a. It's either like. A dog show game or a horse game or something, I bet. Oh, like a dog, you know, a dog show one sounds. Oh, yeah. um, um, I feel like it would be dog show. Oh, like, oh, is this isn't Nintendo Dogs, is it? No. Uh, the the graphics look horrible. Not Nintendo dogs. Let's let's throw up yeah. Nintendo dogs. I also see one. I just looked it up. There's like a Pets Dogs talent show. Oh, that could be it. P E T Z Pets. Oh, it was Nintendo dogs. Oh, interesting. That looks way worse than I thought it did. For the DS, yeah. Seriously. 
Interesting. Old Mario Cap. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was fun. I feel like we could have yeah, done it, but we'll uh, we'll get better as we do more of it. I'm sure. And it's probably just right. random based on if we've played some of these games or heard of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. We got a lot of older ones. Yeah. Well, like older games. Okay, so um, you want to talk about Lord of the Rings? Yeah, so I uh, I had a... It's interesting, so I had made a poll on you know, on, on the channel and... Oh yeah, I saw that. To see who... Like, what everyone's favorite movie was. Did you see, like, the results? Yeah, it didn't... I think Two Towers yeah, like, won, right? Yeah, like 71%. So it had 14 votes. 71% voted the Two Towers. Uh, and then Return of the King at 21%, and Poor Fellowship of the Ring had 7%. <laughs> uh, yeah. Which, I mean, I didn't find it surprising, but, like, for believe it or not, for me, I think the second one, this, I obviously I'm in the minority, or at least these 14 votes. The second one's my least favorite one. I love the, really? the first one. I think, I think the second one has the best battle, for yeah. sure, but I think like for like the rest of it i prefer the other two really uh my favorite's two towers yeah i i always thought at least growing up and watching it a lot besides the last hour of the battle i always thought the second one was the the most boring one interesting i know i i guess i'm in the minority i always i always thought the first one was underrated because it was, i don't know i I think that one's fun. It's the teams together. It is fun, yeah. It's good to see the whole fellowship together. Yeah. And then the third one, you know, it's the third one's conclusion. It's epic. But the, I mean, I get it. Like the, the second one has the best battle for sure, right? Like Yeah, yeah. Helm's Deep is just so amazing. But yeah. even even just, like besides that, I like the I like that seeing Gandalf come back. I like seeing the Isengard stuff. Um <clears throat> Uh, let's see what else happens in that one. The Dead Marshes, the whole like Gollum and him being like crazy going back and forth between Gollum and Smeagol. I like that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, there's, I mean, to be fair, I love all three of these movies. I think they're all amazing. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I love this one too. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I don't think I'm there's a wrong that. answer to this yeah. question. Um, but yeah, I, I just, think... I've always liked that one the most. I think a lot of people do, but. Oh, a lot of, or or the return of the king yeah but as i've gone because i used to, like the fellowship of the ring used to be my least favorite but as i've gotten older and rewatched them like i like it more and more and more for some reason i don't know why yeah it's it's still really good like i would i just love uh, it, the I, introduction the shire everything i would have to rewatch them but i used to put return of the king above fellowship but now i'm not so sure thinking it over Mm-hmm. When I rewatch them, I'll let you know. I might put Fellowship above Return of the King. Um, yeah, I probably could too. I, I, I would say Return of the King's my favorite, but honestly, Fellowship, like I said, I, I've slowly and slowly like it more and more and more. Yeah, Return of the King does have some really good scenes. So I don't know. They're different too, right? Like Fellowship's more of like a, yeah. a happier adventure. Everybody's together. Yeah, they're like, out. Yeah. Um, and then two towers, everything kind of falls apart and there's this huge battle and then return of the King. is like the ultimate, like, does he get the ring to Mordor? It's like super hard for Frodo the entire finale, time. Right. Yeah. There's the finale, big battles, like the Pelennor field yeah, battle. Like, darker too, in a sense of like, yeah, Frodo's kind of, uh, you know, grumpier and then yeah. he fights. What's that spider thing's name? She lob, yep. She love and the, the final battle is epic. The only thing I will say that I wasn't a biggest fan of, and it's not that it takes it away or anything, was having like a uh, the army of the dead. It's like so unfair. Yeah, yeah. The, the army, all it the does, ghosts it, or whatever. It's kind of like a Deus Ex Machina comes out of nowhere and saves them. But yeah, yeah. I still think that battle's but, awesome. <laughs> well, that battle, like when I I re- like I said, I rewatched them a couple years ago. And that, and I know, like the two towers by far, I, that that Helm's that battle is definitely is amazing. One. Yeah, it helps deep. Is like when you think of when you think of an epic battle, that's what you think of in yeah. anything, not just in the rings. Yeah, but the Return of the King final batter, bat, battle 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 
battle, like I rewatched it and it is, it's an epic battle too. I mean, yeah. there's scenes where you're riding with them and like going through underneath the, what are those elephant things called? Holy fonts. Olyphants. Yeah, Oly Oly fans or whatever. Like the camera sweeping underneath it mm. with people fighting. Like it still is like it's still super epic too. Yep. They're all so good. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're so amazing. Oh that's I was a little surprised, but not really, that that the two towers won by that much. I thought it'd be split between Return of the King and Two Towers more. Yeah. Yeah. But but yeah. Who do you think and would win? Would, yeah, who do you think would win? Uh, I'd have to say Gandalf, because we've never really seen Dumbledore at his peak epicness. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't... I voted Gandalf because Dumbledore is a man, and he has really cool magic. He's a really good yeah. wizard. But Gandalf is basically like a demigod or a, a yeah. god himself. Like, he, yeah, he's on the same <laughs> level with, like, the Balrog, or or maybe Sauron? I don't remember, but like, the lore to him, he's more than just a human. <laughs> so I think, yeah, Gandalf would take it. Yeah, that's I, that's what I voted to. Uh, and then I'll be putting more. I'm trying to put up polls every yeah, I love it. two to three days. It's cool. So, I don't know, it's just fun, fun little it's just like random thoughts that pop in my head, like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, because, and, and I kind of want to theme it to what we talk about, so. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Putting up some Lord of the Rings questions right before our nerd, nerd pop quiz for it. That's good. Uh, so, but yeah, I, uh, if I had to rank it for me, it'd be 3-1-2. I'm assuming yours would be 2-3-1 until right you rewatch. Now, yeah, 2-3-1 until I rewatch and compare 1 and 3. Well, I'd compare them all again to make sure it still stands, but I don't think Two yeah, Towers yeah. is going anywhere. That's just too good. <laughs> uh, and like sweet. the build up to Helm's Deep too is like, oh, it's it just feels. Like, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm I, I'm not hating on the movie. I freaking love that movie still. <laughs> yeah, but obviously none of them compared to the Battle of the Five Armies. <laughs> Dude. That should have been the most epic battle of the world. <laughs> and it was like, dude, it's called the Battle of the Five Armies. How, like, epic does that sound? Yeah, and then it just wasn't, wasn't great. That's a shame. I was so excited for that, and that battle was so trash. Yeah. And I think it's because it all felt so fake. It just felt so fake, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Like, the, all like the, when you're watching... Throughout all the What's movies, that? throughout all the movies, it felt too fake, like too much CG, and it was like super obvious, and I don't know. Yeah, with Helm's Deep, it felt so real, so raw, like yeah, like it just felt like authentic. And then you watch like the Hobbit trilogy, and I actually I don't hate the Hobbit trilogy. I don't hate, but comparing them. it to Lord of the Rings, there's yeah. no question. Yeah, like, I agree. Actually, I liked the first two, the Desolate, the, the Desolation of Smog, right? Second one, yeah. And then, uh, I don't remember what the first one's called, An Unexpected uh, Journey. Yeah, An Unexpected Journey, I think. But I mean, I don't. I'll tell you this: I've rewatched Lord of the Rings a billion times. I probably only rewatch a Hobbit a few times. Same. Yep. So, and then I hadn't even finished the show, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I didn't finish the show either. I liked I it, I but I just it. fell off. Four episodes. I didn't hate it either, but but yeah, it just I don't know how to explain it either to fell off. I, a lot of people didn't like that show. Yeah. Like the most expensive show ever. It did not feel like it, or I don't know. It just, yeah. No. I feel like the timeline Shoot, was weird in that. Yeah, because it had like, and then like it had, it focused on what, what's it, cathedral or whatever? Cathedral? Galadriel. Galadriel. Well, I, at least the begin. I only watched the first three or four episodes, so I don't know how like it ends up or anything. I but... think I watched the first five? How many were there? I, I Ten, maybe? Yeah, I think there were ten. I think I got through half of it. The, the thing I liked most about it was... 
the elf dude and the the dwarf dude their relationship i don't remember their names yeah i i don't remember either been but, too long i i will eventually watch that i need to go back and rewatch it i probably will maybe <laughs> is is that a franchise that like and when you think of Lord of the Rings, it's such a big franchise, but there hasn't been a lot of, as far as movies and shows, a yeah. lot of content. Yeah. There really has Right, you have like Harry Potter that has a billion things, games, shows, movies, yeah. everything. Even Star Wars, obviously, a billion movies and shows, yeah. now at least. Yeah. But Lord of the Rings, I mean, it has the Hobbit movies, so six movies. Six movies. And then the and show. But only two. And the show, yeah. But you'd think, like, with such a... With such, like, a... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, a thick lore. Yeah, the Cimmerillion. Is that, is that right? Deep, deep lore. Yeah. Deep lore. Thick lore. <laughs> such a deep lore, you'd think there'd be more, like, content. Like, yeah, I, I, as I far agree. as... Yeah. I'd love there to be more, as long as it's good. <laughs> I know, but but I think we want more of like. I don't think we'll ever get like the original trilogy like I was that. Say, I don't. I don't know if we'll ever see movies like that again, where it's like so much practical and like. Yeah, yeah they I did don't think so, so much. But for those, should return the King one movie of the year. I think it was like the first fantasy movie ever to win movie of the year. Yeah, that's crazy. It was that. I mean, people. I I remember when that came out. Like fun little fact, I you know, this is weird, but it's true. I watched that Return of the King. There's like a a theater in Disneyland, or there used to be, and I watched it there. Really interesting. I was on I was on vacation to California to go to Disneyland. My dad was there, and my uncle Ryan, and a bunch of us. And they had come out, and they're like, "You guys want to go see it?" It was like it's like in downtown Disney. The theater was. I don't know if you ever been to that. Uh, I don't know if I've been to that part of it. I didn't know there was a theater there. That's pretty cool. There, there, there isn't anymore. Oh, okay. My, my dad just recently went and said they, 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 um, they took away the theater, but there was, and yeah, we, we went to Disneyland all day and like at night, there's like a little restaurant in downtown Disney. And then we went and saw Lord of the Rings in Disneyland. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it was cool. cool I, think I have such a. That could help, like my fond memory. Maybe that's why I prefer that one too, because I remember <laughs> snowing outside and it like it's weird to snow, you know. There. Yeah, yeah. But people who didn't even like or, or care for that kind of genre, like, would saw that movie. Like, yeah, that's how good those freaking movies were. That's true. But uh, anyways. Yeah, I love those movies. Definitely one of my favorite franchises of all time. Oh yeah, oh, that oh and same. Star Wars are my top two. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I'd say Star Wars is my number one. Yeah, same. Lord of the Rings is number two. And as far as like, I, I would probably put like, like Harry Potter three. Yeah, that's a good one. Harry yeah. Potter, like the Dark Knight trilogy. As far as like, but yeah. yeah. Well, I guess Overall for me, franchise. as far as like. Like a French, like my childhood franchises, fantasy type. Yeah. Yeah, I would put those three in my top for sure. Yeah. Off the top of my head. Yeah. At least, like, those a, are, that's a good three. Because uh, growing up, those movies, I mean, obviously, Harry Potter came out a lot. Yeah. And Star Wars, obviously, the prequels were, were coming out, and the, the original trilogy was already out. Yep. And Clone Wars, Clone Wars the, the yeah. show came out later on, and then Lord of the Rings, obviously, those three movies. So yeah, those were kind of like the ones that are like big. Yeah. But, well, speaking of other her. fantasy franchises from our childhood, you want to talk about Percy Jackson now? <laughs> those <laughs> oh, books, nice. those Sounds books good. Were, yeah, good, uh, <laughs> good transition. Good segue. Right? <laughs> segue yep. All right. Uh... Yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, let's let's talk about that. Yeah, I'm interested to hear your uh, opinions on this one because I've definitely got opinions on it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, we'll give our we, score and then we will um, talk about spoilers. But we'll give a spoiler warning beforehand. So uh, you want to give your score and give your overall feel of the episode, and then then I'll do it. Yes. Um, so this one, uh, I, I would I gave it I would give it a six out of ten. Uh, not my favorite. Felt pretty 
average okay and i don't know there's something about i guess i just for me i pictured it a little bit differently in the books and in the show it didn't feel like they said it was already third like well i'm not gonna get spoilers but they mentioned yeah. that like oh certain thing happened i'm like oh i wasn't it didn't there wasn't impact to it at all i don't know it just didn't feel very impactful compared to the book yeah uh and that's kind of my initial thoughts so six out of ten yeah i have very similar thoughts um i gave it a five i thought this was just like mm. a very mm. average episode and maybe it's just because my expectations were higher and because I have really fond yeah. memories of this part in the book, and I thought of it a certain way. It's my favorite part of the book. Yeah, it's yeah. a good part in the book, and uh, I was just expecting more impact. Yeah, and like, and what they chose to do with this part was also—it's just different than how I envisioned it. Um, so I don't mm -hmm. know how much of that has to do, but even then, it still kind of just felt like an average episode, kind of like filler. Um, yeah, but. I think what brought it down to a five was I just didn't think this episode should have been filler. <laughs> this, yeah, yeah. I don't well, know. like, I'll put it this way: like, if this wasn't based off of a book, this episode would have been it would have been pointless to have the whole mystery behind it because yeah. it didn't do anything besides yeah. besides uh, you know I, I we got to talk about spoilers. I can't say yeah, anything, but... yeah. So we'll get into spoilers now. So you gave it a six. I gave it a five. Um, yes. and, if yeah. you and I was watched, borderline five or six, so yeah, yeah I was kind of flip flopping worried. between. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna talk about spoilers now. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, but this is your warning for spoilers, okay? Alrighty. So, yes, this one was the Lotus Casino episode, and yeah, I really like this part in the book. and so to me, the whole point of the Lotus Casino was that they went in there and like got lost in having fun. And mm -hmm. that's why the time went by fast is like they lost themselves and kind of just forgot all their worries and was just having a really good time. Mm -hmm. And in this one, I didn't feel like there was any of that. I mean, Grover had a little bit of fun, I guess, in the video game, but like the time we didn't even see it. Though. Yeah, we didn't see it. And the time still passed fast, and it was just like, mm -hmm. like thrown out there that oh, they're pumping gas in the air, and that's why it went fast. Which, I mean, I guess so, but that's not really how it. That wasn't it. the point, the, though. You're right. Yeah, or the point of it. Yeah. The point was that yeah, they got they started. You know, they they were that sucked in, man. They got sucked into the casino. They they're having fun. They're, they started eating the the lotus flowers and yeah, not caring and. Like I, it's not it's not exactly how I, it's not how I picture it at all either. Like, there's yeah. no fun in the episode at all. Yeah, it's you know supposed to be literally fun and trying to lure you in. Yeah, and I didn't get any sense of that. Yeah, me neither. And when uh, like I said, so like if this wasn't based off a book, the only purpose that would have had is to I guess speed up the timeline. Yeah, there, there's almost no purpose to there. Like if this was the scene wasn't in the book. There'd be no point, no point to the scene. They could have just had like went there, stole his keys, and left. There didn't have to be no mystery about. Yeah, uh, well, and like a load, like, my my thing is, and it happened kind of in the Medusa episode too, where it was like there's supposed to be this mystery, but like in the Medusa one, they're immediately like, "Oh, it's Medusa," which that one turned out okay. Yeah, but in this one, they walk in it and they're like. Oh, this is the Lotus story from like they just it kind of took away all the mystery. It's like they kind of know and yeah. they know not to eat stuff already and know to stick together. And... That's true. Yeah, you don't get to, like that suspense. Like, why is everyone acting so weird? Yeah. What is? Why is everyone eating this lotus flower? It must yeah. be good. Or... And even when yeah. you meet like that guy Grover knew the the other satyr, it's like, well, you kind of already yeah, know yeah. he's sucked into the lotus thing, and yeah, that's why he's yeah. forgetting stuff. And so. I, Honestly, I feel like my biggest issue with this series has been that Disney made it and there's just not enough episodes. I feel like they're trying to cram too much in. Yeah, like I'll, I'll even go as far as this. Like, I don't even think the movies are the best, but the movie was more how I pictured the scene yes. than, than this show. 
I agree. I thought the exact same thing. The movie was how I pictured that scene. Yep. Like I liked that that scene in the as as much as the movie has faults. I liked the casino scene in the movie. Probably the best scene in that movie, honestly. Yeah. Like, come on, they're all having fun dancing to Kesha TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I have fond memories of that scene. Was it TikTok or was it Poker Face? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, those two are the it, same I don't, songs. <laughs> it was it was Kesha, so I think it was okay. It, I know it was Kesha. Poker Face is Get Lady Gaga, right? Yeah. So now you got me confused. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. I think it was Kesha. Kesha, Kesha, whatever her name is. Let me. I'm gonna Google it. Yeah, it's Kesha. Okay. Uh, that's it. TikTok to TikTok. Do, 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 oh, yeah. Do, do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just got it mixed up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, similar genre, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> similar song. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that is, I, I oh, had no. that in my notes too that I was like, um, I don't think the movies were a good interpretation of the book, but that part was, oh, no. was more like how I pictured it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like them having fun and dancing and like the time slipping away. And yeah. It's it's supposed to be like that's when it's supposed to get like yeah. goofy and fun and you know get I don't know and I just did not you're right I didn't feel that from this episode at all like one bit like this yeah. episode was not fun and you're in a dang casino I know that's supposed to be tricking you with fun <laughs> this was the episode I was looking forward to I I think I mentioned it a couple episodes ago like yeah, I oh I can't wait to get to the casino soon yep and and here we are. <laughs> yeah, and I I'm kind of hoping the last two are just really good, and they're maybe saving their budget or something. Oh, there's only two left. I think this was six, right? I think there's eight. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ! Um, yeah, yeah, that's part of my problem. I feel like is that it's just there's not enough time. That's kind of what You're, I mean with the Disney. I feel like Disney just doesn't yeah. put enough time, like enough. I don't know. They're their episodes are too short, and also they don't have enough of them. To... You know what I noticed with Disney shows, like compared to other, other, uh, other shows, is like Disney shows, and that goes hand in. This goes hand in hand with what you're saying about time. But you notice their shows never, never like, I never get a sense of like, I development in characters. Like I don't feel yeah. for characters when I watch Disney shows. Yeah, I think I that's because like, they're too the rushed. The closest I've gotten to is, is Mandalorian, but that was, like, formatted to be, like, a, a story of the week. Yeah. Like, you know, like, Monarch, you know, I feel like the, the characters have arcs, and, like, if they have another season, like, through different seasons, it's like, oh, my God, like, I care, I've grown with these characters. But, mm -hmm. like, with Disney shows, I mean, I guess you could argue Loki, because it's had a second season. Maybe it's because they don't, a lot of them don't have second seasons. Maybe yeah, that's why I feel like yeah they don't have second seasons and they're only eight episodes or six or whatever and yeah I just they don't have but even within the season you know what I mean like when I'm watching yeah uh, the Last of Us which you didn't watch that like I feel like I'm there with those characters like it feels like a story and like years and like I don't know in season two three four I'm gonna like feel like I've gone through the ap the apocalypse with them yeah. you know yeah like, but with Disney shows I don't get that ever. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing that's making it different. Maybe just they don't have enough faith in their shows, yeah. and so they. I and don't I think, know. like you said, I think it goes hand in hand with time too. But I don't. But not just the time though. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's not just the time. It's just the like the the way the shows feel. Yeah. Maybe it's the way they're written, filmed. I don't know. Yeah. Like I watch Monarch. I just use that because it's the most the recent thing we watched. And like it feels like a like a show, right? Like it feels like mm -hmm. from start to finish, like ups and downs. These characters go here, or here. And I don't know. Disney shows just they just feel weird to me. I don't I don't want to explain it. Yeah, and some of them have like really abrupt, like Percy Jackson the uh, the third episode. I felt like ended super abruptly, almost like it was made mm -hmm. to be a movie, and they just cut it there for like yeah with a really random what? cutoff. I don't know. And why does Percy, you know, another thing I hate when streaming services do, why does Percy Jackson, why does the show have cutaways like there's a dang commercial? I think it's because they're probably planning on adding commercials in at some point. Honestly, I, I think that's I, why. 
I hate that in show. That's one thing I hate about like network shows. Yeah. I hate it takes away from moment. It's a cheap. A lot of shows use it as a cop out when something happens. Like you know when yeah. the old the old shows before streaming, yeah. something would happen and then it would cut away to commercial and you get back and like it's the aftermath of what happened and they're talking. <laughs> yeah. And I, I hate how the show has it because it's a it doesn't streaming it. show. Yeah. It it bothers me so much. It's like. And this one you don't does have it to a lot. It. Yeah, it's like a 30-minute episode, and there's like three or four cuts, like there's a commercial break. I'm like, what are you yep. doing? It's Disney Plus. I don't I think streaming, I think what streaming, this is just me going on a tangent. <laughs> streaming should like if Disney adds ads, 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 uh, ads, advertisements. Yep. Yeah, if they add advertising or any streaming service that does, like uh even like Apple. TV, they should have it to where you 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 watch like two minute ads at the beginning and or like at the very beginning yeah. instead of cutting away in the middle of the the shows. Yeah, I just so I like it like doesn't more. It, well, doesn't that make more sense? It's like it, instead of cutting away from your story and kind of getting out of the immersion of it. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. Anyways, but then they probably can't have as many <laughs> commercial breaks or something. I don't know. It's probably all about money. Yeah, I, I, you. I mean, think of like. Well, though, think if you if you had an ad version, it's what thirty seconds of ad every what fifteen minutes, probably or something like that. So it's probably, ad. Yeah, probably. You probably more, have. But... You probably have like three or four. So like that's about two minutes. I'll say it's about probably two minutes of ads in a streaming service, not like TV. Yeah. Right. So like, couldn't you like? Just put that at the beginning. Force yeah, people to watch would, it at the beginning. I would like that. Because they're going to do the same thing if there's an ad in the middle. Just get up just and get leave. a drink of water. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, anyways, back to Percy. So It was alright. Yeah, it was alright. I do have some in, some things that I thought were alright. Were, were like interesting additions to this episode. The main one was some additional Luke backstory with his dad. Um, I thought that was yeah. interesting. Because in the, like, so it's mentioned that his mom's a seer. And I'm pretty sure in the books that's not mentioned till way later. Um, and then, like, that kind of shows why he, I mean, he blames it on his, his dad. So, like, it kind of, kind of gives him... Like they they say like, oh don't talk to him about that because, um because of how he feels about his dad and then you kind of understand more why mm -hmm. he feels that way, um so I thought that was yeah. some cool little like backstory we didn't really get in the books. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I can. I, but at the same time, though, I mean, I feel like that wasn't the point of this episode, though, or yeah. shouldn't have been. Yeah, I agree. I feel like that's part of the them having to cram too much into one episode. Um, but yeah. and you could have put that in there after, after this whole after the whole mystery and stuff, or I don't know before they started figuring stuff out, or I don't know they because I agree, I like that. Yeah, I guess you're. I guess you're really right. It all boils down to time. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping if this first season does well, maybe they'll do another um another season and give it more yeah. money oh, <laughs> for more time, more episodes. Yeah. I don't know. I did like when they're escaping too, you know, Percy driving, obviously they're kids, so yeah, they don't know how to was, drive. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Like like as a kid I would have found that really funny. That that was a good scene. Yeah. Yeah, and it makes sense. Um I didn't care for Grover stuff. Like I said, like he went off and dude said there's Pan. He found Pan, and then the next time we see him, he's playing a virtual reality game. Yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't even get to see the game. It would have been cool if like we got to see like him in the game, like a little, I don't yeah. know, do something unique. Yeah, that would have been better for uh, sure. You know, like the next thing, next time we cut to Percy, he, like puts that on, and we see what he's playing, and I don't know, like. That would have been something. That would have been cool, like something different, something yeah, fun. We've actually seen something fun in the casino yeah. <laughs> happening. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. The big three, the main three. I mean, they're acting. I mean, they were okay. I just I feel thought like it was fine. I feel like we we said 
I feel like we've said this a few times. Like, it, I feel like there's not, there's just not much. Um. Okay, so I have two two more things about this. I feel like they're pushing the the Percy and Annabeth stuff like really quickly. If that makes sense, like it, like oh, Luke's yeah. comment about the oh you're like an old oh, married I, couple. I feel like yeah. they, like I feel like that didn't happen in the books as fast as what they're pushing it in the show. But also that could be a pacing issue from too short of episodes. <laughs> Yeah, and I probably yeah, I was just gonna say it probably didn't feel like that in the book because I mean even though the book went quick, it still was in more detail. So it felt Yeah. Yeah. You know, like definitely. it felt like you know what I'm trying to say? Like you feel you have that it felt, the book feels longer than the show. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, like yeah, you, you feel like you're in a journey longer, I should say. Yeah. But the books do move at a quick pace too, but like do. not like this. Yeah. And part of it probably is because we kind of get to be there with them in the book, you know, reading and and... in Percy's mind too. I feel like that's a yeah. like you get to hear what he's thinking, and you don't really get that in the show mm-hmm. as much. Yeah, you just get facial expressions. Yeah. Um, and then oh, yeah. so a couple changes to the book. Um, I thought it was interesting that they added Hermes in here. I don't think he was even in the first book if i'm remembering correctly um but having him as the like reason they go to the lotus i don't remember the exact reason they go in the book um i know there's, right. there is a reason but i don't remember exactly what it is but it wasn't hermes wasn't it uh wasn't it to like collect something huh. yeah maybe um, um but other than that like i think the hermes actor is a good actor and it was a it was a fine scene with him it was you know it was all right oh hey so i just looked it up they they were just in the books they just go they just the stopped there, right? just looking for a place to rest right yeah. right 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 okay yeah and that that so, also it, makes it sense. Adds the more sense yeah yep Right, because they, they so they knew nothing about this. The, so like this was just to go rest. So it and makes it, it even happened. creepier and like yeah, mister mysterious. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like going there for a specific reason, you'll find so and so here. Yeah, we it's already just know a the fetch quest kind of <laughs> like. Yeah. Why would they? Why would they change it? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. That does that doesn't make sense. To, like they're complaining that the movies were. We're not like the books, and why do you change something like this? Yeah. And the thing is, Rick, Rick, the author, Rick, he 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 was like helping with the show, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen some comments, and it honestly just kind of seems like he, uh, because he said we'll do better in the next season or something, and um, so is he not necessarily happy with the first season? I. I think he's seen some of the the backlash and because some people are annoyed with this episode um which is understandable oh, we're not in a minority no i've seen some people like frustrated with the changes um and some changes we haven't even talked about which i do want to talk about um but um he said some of the changes won't affect like the end and it seems like it's kind of building up for these last two episodes to be bigger and make more of an impact. So I don't know. I'm kind of hoping holding out hope that these last two episodes are really good, but if not, this season is going to be kind of a disappointment. But why, why did they have to make these changes in the middle of the season to affect that, to affect the, if it's going to be the same end as the book? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think is it I've Disney? seen them. Is it Disney like telling him like it might be. I, I, I thought they were giving him pretty decent say for yeah. I, before the season came out. I was reading that he had a lot of say in the show. Yeah, that's what I saw too. So he must have been okay with the changes. I just don't understand why, but is he not? Yeah, I, I don't. He has to. It has to be Disney because I don't see how. I know it sounds like a little thing, like changing this whole casino thing, but the whole you're right, you're right, you are right. Though the whole point of that the book is, and that scene in the book is, 
finding a place to rest. It's mysterious. It's creepy. It's like a yeah. It was he thinking like it, it's a pointlet, like oh, that adds, adds nothing to the story, kind of thing. But maybe or that like based on the way the TV show works, is you need the last episode to be the big one, or the second to last, yeah. or whatever, and they just couldn't do that, or like. Yeah, prob you're probably right. Or like they, they I, couldn't I, do I, this and that is what I'm trying to say. Like they couldn't make them both yeah. big blowout stuff. So it might be budgetary, it might be but I don't know if I've s I haven't seen a good answer to that, honestly. Because this episode, I mean you could argue it doesn't have anything to do with the story, but at the same time, the point of this episode was they're exhausted from this journey, you know. They're it's such a heavy burden on them, and they finally get to relax and have fun, and that's what lures them in, you know. Yeah. Yep. Like, like, and it, then it, it turns does out kind to be of, a more nefarious thing, and it's like a big reveal, and yeah. Yeah. So, like, it does contribute to the story. So, I don't. That couldn't be it either. You're right. Maybe it's budgetary or something. Yeah. I just don't know if Disney well, believed in this show and wanted to, it's like they're doing a trial run which sucks because i really like the first book i think the first book's from what i remember is better than the second one so yeah yeah i from not what that, i remember too is i like the first one more than the second one yeah, yeah not that the second one's bad but i just know the first one more so that kind of sucks uh, and, but... I, and i just really hope it does good and i hope the second season does good because like i we mentioned it before we've never seen a third fourth fifth book like in yeah. live action yep so like we obviously we've seen the second book in live action with the movie, so like it'll be cool to see it if it does happen. But like if 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 we got to the second season and it was decent, and then we finally got to the third season, I'd be super excited since yeah. we've never seen it. Yeah, that's true. That would be cool. It'd be like new, new, you know, like yeah, we'd have nothing to compare it to besides the book, right? But. I don't, did you have anything else on this? Yeah, there were two more changes that at first I was kind of like confused, annoyed by. We, we You almost mentioned it before the spoilers, but I don't think they're really going to make that much of a difference. The The deadline being passed of the Solstice, it's mm -hmm. just a weird change. Don't know why they would change it. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And then in the book, Percy only gets three pearls. And he has to like oh, make a decision to like, well... We don't. I guess we don't want to spoil well, future book yeah, stuff, but but that's like a big thing yeah. is that there's only three pearls. Um, so I wait, mean, how many did you get in this in this episode? Four. So maybe he loses wait, one. Wait, that's true. I didn't. I didn't think about that, but that would be stupid. That's not the point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Why would you? Why would you get four? If if they do something where like he loses one or one gets destroyed. That that defeats the purpose of that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That will make me upset if they do that. Because you, I did not think about that. Wow. Yeah. So it's just really interesting, interesting we'll small see. changes, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. I'm holding out hope for the last two episodes. Um, but you know, Look, we'll see. I I know individually we've we've rated these kind of high, mm -hmm. but these last two episodes are a disappointment. This the whole series as a whole could be a five or six. Yeah, I agree with that. Whereas at the beginning, I was thinking more of like a seven, eight ish. Yeah. But hey, we'll see. We still have two episodes. That's just me speculating. Yep. Oh, well, next one comes out tomorrow, so January twenty third. Oh yeah. So. Oh, hopefully we'll see. It'll be good. I hope we'll see. I have hope, but I don't. I, I'm trying not to have hope. I should say, <laughs> so then I don't get disappointed. That's true. That's probably a better way to go into it, because then you could be surprised. Because yeah, you know, I mean, we were just talking earlier in the show about our favorite series, and, and Percy Jackson didn't come up, but I really, I did love this series. Like, yeah, I feel you know, like I, it didn't. I wasn't come up. necessarily a kid, but yeah, I feel like it didn't come up because. It was only a, the book, the book form. Like the movie was just okay, yeah, but true. like the book, I really enjoyed. It was a great series to read, and well, I loved it. I was addicted to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then even the sequel books. You know, I never finished those books either. I didn't either. I'm uh, gonna start reading yeah. them soon. I, I think. think I agree with you. Once once the show ends, I'm gonna read this original, uh, the original Percy Jackson. 
Yeah. Well, Percy Jackson, what was it called? Just in the Olympians? In the Olympians, yeah. And, and then he just came out with another book in the series. Yeah. I'll read that too. And then I want to read the sequel trilogy, which is the Heroes of Olympus. Yeah. I think I read one and of those books, but I don't I read one of those two. Uh, and then there's one more series. Uh, it is, let me look. There's so Percy Jackson and the Olympians. There's five books. Well, now six. Yeah. And then there's the Heroes of Olympus books. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which there is five books in there. The Lost Hero. That's the one we read. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never I read the other five. And then the last series is the this I never read. The Trials. of of Apollo books. Yeah, I didn't There's read those either. There's it's a sec, it's a second spin-off Percy Jackson Olympian series. Okay. So there's five books in there, The Hidden Oracle, The Dark Prophecy, The Burning Maze. Hmm. Oh, there's another piece book. The Tyrant Tomb and the Tower of Nero. Yeah. I never read okay. that one. Yeah, I'll probably so, go read most of those. Yeah, I, I want to read them. Mhm. Mm too. Um but I'm going to wait till the series is over. Yeah, me too. And now I'm going to reread. I'm going to. I think the order it says to read them is. Yeah, Percy Jackson and Olympians, obviously. Yep. And then probably. Um. They it does say I'm just reading a note here that the sixth book was so the sixth book was added. It's called the Chalice of the Gods to the original five book. So to the Percy Jackson and Olympians. Okay. But it says not to read that until you're done with everything else. Oh, okay. So to come back to that one after the other you finish the other two series. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So then read the five, yeah, uh, heroes of or yeah, five heroes of Olympus. Here's the books in there, and then the five Apollo series, and then the last book in the original series. Okay, interesting. Nice. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I've with the, I didn't I didn't even know about that third series until I looked up the show and so we've read not that much of the series anymore. <laughs> yeah, they've added a lot since compared to what it is now. Yeah. Um. But yeah. After this, yeah, maybe we'll both read it and we'll we can talk about the books. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because uh, they're pretty quick quick reads. Yeah, they are. More, I might just go to go to my library and that was a good idea just rent from the library yeah that's what i'm gonna do uh, it's free yep go libraries uh, cool. that's, that's all i had on this yep me too i got all my points out so um, two more episodes two more episodes tune in next week yes <laughs> that sounds so fake, huh? <laughs> tune in next week for a review of <laughs> Percy on, Jackson, episode yeah. seven. On the next on episode. The <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's what it does sound like. <laughs> uh, uh, do we have anything else? Uh, I guess, what, have you been playing anything new or see, watching anything new? Um, I did play... Have you tried Tiny Tina's Wonderland? Do you know what that is? I have not. I, I didn't that the... the isn't that from the? Didn't the Borderlands people make that? Yeah, it's Borderlands. It's basically Borderlands, but in the story, you're like playing a D and D campaign. Um, oh, so it's more like I... more like fantasy esque things. Um, hmm. Okay. And uh, it's I have not played it. It's pretty good. I have I've only played like an hour, um, but I like mm. it so far. It's been it's been fun. Is it something you you could see like getting into it pretty hardcore, or are you still? I could for sure because I've gotten into all the Borderlands mm. whenever I play them. Yeah. I, honestly, what I've been doing most this, mostly this week is reading. Me and my wife have been reading a lot. Oh, oh. We finished um, oh. a really good, the second book in a really good series called The Stormlight Archives. Have you heard of that? Mm -mm, I have not. They're really good books. We finished the second one and um, we're taking mm. a break from that now and we're reading Dune so that. We can Dune. watch the movie. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch that movie. Yeah, I'm gonna read it I'm first. I'm gonna watch the old one too. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it first and then watch the or read the book first and watch the first movie and then we'll watch the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then, yeah, and then actually, yeah, when, before the new movie comes out, we'll talk about the first one before we go and see the new one. Yeah, uh, yeah, sounds good. Okay, sweet. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the uh, only thing I've been playing like Mario Wonder or some more RPG. Evil? I didn't play more Resident Evil. I haven't been playing no. that much, just like small things here and there between reading. Yeah. But it's been nice getting back yeah. into reading. Yeah. I, my my thing with reading is I go through phases where like yeah. I'm addicted to it and then I just drop it for a while. Yeah. I I had been on a big, long period of time that where I hadn't read in a while. So mm-hmm. it's been good to get back into it. I love reading too, but... Yeah, I'll start with the Percy Jackson here in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um. What about you? You've been watching or playing anything new? Uh, kind of. So, uh, well, there's a few things I want to talk about. But first, yeah, I've been, been t- I, I'm still playing Resident Evil Four. Nice. Up for a while, but I'm I'm still playing it. I'm on like chapter eight now out of okay. sixty. So I'm about halfway done. Yeah. And. uh and yeah, I still love the game. It's awesome. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'm at the part of the game where uh, spoilers. You you get to I like a cast, which is always a cool part of the game because nice. it changes it changes it up from you know the first half of the game. Yeah, you're kind of in the woods and stuff. Uh, plus, Resident Evil to me, I love like you know Resident Evil One. You're in a mansion. Resident Evil Seven. You're in an old abandoned house. Yeah. You know, Resident Evil uh, Three and and Two. You're kind of in buildings in the city there's something about resident evil village you're uh you go into the castle yeah you're you're literally but you're like there's parts of the game where like it's kind of like dungeons i guess if you want to say okay yeah Um, not necessarily dungeons in the sense of like you get an item in there but you know what i talk about like yeah yeah. Yeah. i love the castle feel like dungeon you get maps you're going through here uh you unlock shortcuts kind of like kind of like a Dark Souls, you know, where you go the long way, then you circle back around and right, unlock a short. I love that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that, like, I'm at the part, this part of the game has that feeling. Nice. Um, but I, yeah, I'm still, I love that game. There's something about freaking Resident Evil, man. It's so, it's like my game to, to, to the T. It's not too long. It's not too complicated, but you still can upgrade your weapons. You yeah. still, there's still things you can do, but it's just not too complicated, but it can get hard. Oh. I love it. Nice. That's good. Yeah, I need to um, I need to play it more. I will. I yeah, will. definitely like I'll tell you I'll, I'll I'll tell you this, like when we do a top 10 of our favorite games of all time, Resident Evil 4 the original or the remake, it doesn't matter, will be in my top 10 games of all time. Dang, okay. Uh that's how much I freaking love Resident Evil 4. <laughs> um but we do have to do that eventually actually make a top 10. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and then I I've been playing Kingdom Hearts still, nice. Kingdom Hearts three. Um, I'm playing that when my kiddos are around. They love watching me play yeah, that. I just got to the, the Toy Story Land. Oh, nice! Uh, and they love that. Um, what else? Watching? I haven't. This is random. I don't know if you ever watched it, but I'm just watching it with Kara. We don't talk about it. But Psych, have you ever heard of Psych? Yeah, Psych's a fun one just to throw on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we threw it on. I like, and I like the, I like the main guy in it. He yeah. was in another show we were watching. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure the guy who played Hephaestus is in Psych. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the police captain guy. So oh. if you if you look it up, yeah, and I'm, see, I'm, he looks, I him now. <laughs> yeah, he looks way older now. That's for sure. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's just a fun little, like you said, throw it on, and yeah. we have nothing else to watch. We're kind of just throwing it on and enjoying it. And but uh, besides that, I haven't I haven't really watched any movies. Yeah, I haven't been. We haven't been to theater. I've, I haven't been since Godzilla. Yeah, January is just really slow. I feel like. Yeah, I don't even think there's anything for us to watch this week or or the next few weeks. Yeah, when does I mean, Invincible? I'm sure we can find something, but yeah. nothing we. I wonder when Invincible comes back. That's what I want to watch again. <laughs> well, I think they just announced it. Okay, hopefully yeah. soon. I think it was. Then let me look. Invincible part two. 
It is coming out March 14th. Okay, so still a ways. So like four months after the first four. Yeah. You know, they, they honestly, if you want to be honest, they should have just waited to release all eight starting like in end of February. Yeah. They I, I, it's a, I, look, I love the show and I'm not trying to bag on the show, but isn't it a little ridiculous? I know COVID and stuff happened. Actually, season one came out, what, 2021 or 2022? Uh, 20, uh, I don't remember. 21, maybe? Let's see. Invincible season one release date. No, not NCIS. It autocorrected to NCIS. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch that crap. Sorry if you like it. Well, anyway, so what I'm trying to say is I whatever COVID work from home, I don't know if that affected it. The but let's be writer real. Strike two, something maybe. Two years in two years and you only get four episodes and you have to wait another four months. That's a little ridiculous. Yeah. What's up with these shows? Like, you know, and then Stranger Things. It'll be three or four years since the last season. What is up with these dang shows? I Yeah. I, I give a little more leniency or like a little more charitability towards animated stuff because that takes a lot of money and a lot of time. So but like with oh, Stranger... eight episodes two years? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It yeah, it's like a twenty five episode season. It's eight episodes. <laughs> yeah, true. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know a lot about it. Maybe you're right. I, to me, that just seems insane. Yeah. I, I wish they would have just released oh. them all at the same time, too, even if they had to wait a little bit. I don't get the point of oh. releasing four and then having you wait. It just loses did they just, uh, hype. Did they just want people to be like, just stick with us, stick with us, here's, here's four. Like, yeah, I don't you'll know. get four more soon. I don't know. Were they worried that people would get too mad that didn't come out in 2023? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't know either. But yeah, I did. So I did. Anyways, done with my ranch. And long story short, I didn't really watch or I didn't really watch anything this week. Yeah. I, I want to try and at least try out Echo. So maybe I'll try that this week. Um, oh, that's right. I did watch that first episode. I think I told you. Yeah, yeah. So I'll give that I didn't a shot. Watch any more yet. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, there's a show that we that I'm gonna make you watch too. Okay. And, and we're gonna talk about it every week because I have high hopes for it. It's on Apple TV, and it is called. Oh, let me turn on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's from the people who made, uh, I don't know if you ever watched it back in the day, Band of Brothers. I didn't watch it, but I've heard it's good. No, that show was, that, that show was really good. It's just like, you know, a one season limited series thing. Yeah. You should watch it. Actually. It has a, it has some good, uh, good actors in it too. Okay. But this one was called on Apple TV. It comes out. I don't think it comes out till next. Oh no. Let me see. Sorry. I'm pulling it up. Yeah. Oh, and another one we, I was I'm getting sidetracked and excited here because it's <laughs> um, good stuff to watch. Another one, maybe we should try watching. The only reason I didn't is because it's freaking three and a half hours. Was the Killers of the Flower Moon? Huh? Have you heard of that? No. It's, it, it's the one on Apple TV. It's the one directed by uh by uh uh God, I can't think of his name right now. Martin Scorsese. Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there you go. It has Leonardo and Robert oh, De Niro, okay. and yeah, that's Jesse some big Clemens. names. And it, ha- it got it has really good reviews, but like I saw, it was three and a half hours. So I'm like, holy <laughs> crap! Yeah, that one might be interesting to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can But now the show, and yeah, maybe we'll watch that this week. That'll give us something, you know, a yeah. movie. Uh, it's called Masters of the Air. Um, I'll send you a trailer. You don't got to watch it now. Yeah. Uh, it comes out this Friday, so yeah, we can start. I, I, I want us to talk about this show. Okay, I'll watch it on Friday. Let's see. It it looks it looks really good. Oh, World War Two. Yeah, okay. it yeah, it has Steven Spielberg's a, a producer and Tom Hanks. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll try. It. I'll watch it Friday or Saturday, and we can talk about it. Yeah. 
And I'll send you a trailer you can watch. But yeah, that so that will be our homework this week. So watch that episode of Masters of the Air. Obviously, Percy Jackson too. Yep. And uh, and if we can get a movie and watch that, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Okay, sounds good. Good so lineup I'll probably for next week then. Yeah, no, that Killers of the Flower Moon. I'll probably have to break it up into three sessions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, there goes my Lord Not of the Rings all. rewatch. <laughs> this is... Yeah, seriously. Sweet. Uh, okay, there we go, man. App- Apple TV is being clutch. Yeah, they got some good stuff on there. They do. I, I, to, I didn't have it. Longer. I didn't have it for a long time, but yeah. If, like Ted yeah. Ted Lasso was the first thing I watched on there, and then uh, that got me pretty hooked. Did you watch season three? No, I haven't watched season three yet. I need to watch yeah. that. It looks like you're gonna have Apple TV Plus for a little while longer. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. It they does earned, have good stuff on. They earned my money with how much I enjoyed Monarch, so I'll, I'm okay with yeah. that. And you like Severance too. Severance that, is there, good. There'll be a second season of that. Yeah, they have some decent shows. Yeah. I want to. I still want to try that for all mankind too. Yeah, you've been talking about that one for a while now. I know. <laughs> I want to try it, but I should have started this last week. But I, yeah, I just didn't. Yeah. But uh, sweet. So we have our homework. Yep. Oh, and the one other thing I want to talk about too. I just out out of curiosity, what what do you feel about uh, handheld PC gaming? Um. I'm interested to try it. I haven't really tried it yet, but um, based on how much I like the Switch, I feel like it could be really cool. Like, I don't really have anything against yeah. it yet. I haven't tried it, though, so... so I, I haven't know. either. But I've, I've been I've been tempted, because there's some games, even to use it for, like, Game Pass. Like, yeah. to have a system that I know I would use Game Pass on, like if I wanted to actually play Starfield or something, you know? Yeah, that's true. I can do it on that, or Halo. I've never I ne- I've never played Halo Infinite Campaign. I got about uh, halfway or, through, and I didn't beat it. Yeah. <laughs> or like if when the next Elder Scrolls game comes out in 10 years, yeah. and it's, uh, it's only Xbox. I, I don't know, I've just been thinking about it. It could be like my Xbox, obviously, Steam machine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of looking at all the different. So there's uh, there's the uh, Rog Ally, which have you heard of that? Um, I think I, I haven't. Necess- I don't think I've heard that name. But uh, my wife does have a a, a Rog uh, laptop, and it's been good. The Republic okay. of Gamers, yeah, she likes it. It's it's worked out really well. So, so this thing. So this is a pretty. So I, I I've been looking up a lot of this. I'm going to send you a. Uh, a screenshot of it. So this one is by far the, as far as like the main the main ones. This is like this is more powerful from the Steam Deck. Uh, oh, okay. But this one, the battery life isn't as good. Uh, actually, not as good at all. Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you, it, I, I've been doing research on all three of these and uh I didn't know if you knew about them. Just get your opinion. Yeah, I haven't really looked into them. Um, I can look at the specs and stuff and see um, later on. So, but that's not a bad I price. Think, no, I mean, it's on sale for 200 bucks. So this one's yeah. usually the most expensive one. Okay. Because it is the most powerful one. It has a stronger chip on there. Okay, yeah. But this runs off of Windows 11, so it can be a little janky. The good thing with Steam Deck is it has its own operating system. Okay, yeah. You can run off of Windows, but it has a, its own operating system built in. Yeah. But the, the did you see the, the Steam Deck, the OLED version, the new one they came out with? Uh, no, I haven't really been paying attention to that. There's a, uh, they came cool. out with a new one. It has an OLED screen, uh, obviously. Nice. And also, it, the battery life is bigger, and it uses... I don't, it, I don't know the technical terms, but it basically uses... Not only is the battery bigger, but it, they put in something there, so it uses, it's more efficient. Okay, yeah. Um, probably like an adaptive battery or something. Yeah. Yeah. So like the batteries, the battery on that lasts almost twice as long as this. Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to say is I think when I get money one day, <laughs> I think I'm going to get a Steam Deck OLED. Okay. Uh, 
Because I, I, I want something. Shoot, even to play, you could use it to play, um, uh, to play the the you know you're streaming from your PlayStation, but yeah, uh, even just to do that, like if I'm downstairs or something, you know, uh, but also because I'm like I don't want an Xbox, and I I, I have a PC uh, or I have like a la- gaming laptop. Mm-hmm. I think I've told you this before. I I don't like to like sit at a desk and play games. Yeah. So like having a I've, PC library, yeah, no, and Game Pass, yeah, on like a handheld, you know, like if I could be on my couch while Kara's watching her shows, or if I'm in bed and I can't sleep, but yeah. I don't, I don't want to go out in the living room, or if I'm at if I'm at Kara's parents' house, or I'm on the plane traveling for work, or if I'm at the hotel. True. So I think. I, I was just curious what you think. Would you ever get one? Like, would you ever get a, a PC, like a gaming, a handheld? Um, I, th- uh, possibly. Um, I would want to upgrade my actual PC first because I don't mind mm-hmm. sitting at a desk and playing games. I, I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've I've been getting into it more and more. Um, mm-hmm. but if I ever fully upgraded and then wanted to also try that, I probably would. Yeah, it seems like an interesting, mm-hmm. interesting thing. I love the I switch, guess... so like I. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. So it's gonna be an interesting topic when when they do announce a Switch Two or whatever Nintendo comes up with. They're, it's gonna have more competition nowadays because the, yeah, the, the, the gaming handhelds, the PC gaming handhelds, are kind of up and coming. I think with that with the uh, ROG Ally. Yeah. And the Steam Deck OLED version. There's also another one that uh, most people don't like. It. It's basically just a, a streaming one. It's, oh, okay. I forgot what it's called. A yeah. Neo G. It's like a Geo something. I don't remember. Hmm, okay. But it's not one where you download it. You just. It's like cloud gaming, pretty much. Yeah, I could see why. But that's like, a, like that as much. It's cheaper, you know. It's like two fifty yeah. or three hundred instead of six hundred. Gotcha. But even that stuff is, I, I, I'm not saying it's good, but it's still up and coming. Like, it's becoming more common. Yeah. So, like, the Switch 2, I guess this is gonna, when they announce the Switch, this would be an interesting conversation to have. Yeah. Is, is the Switch 2 going to be as successful as the Switch when there's all these different handheld consoles? Or is it going to be another Wii coming? U? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah that's, how, that's how you can title it, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the video. Another Wii U, <laughs> yeah. Because everyone, everyone will always say, "Well, you know," but like you can't play the Nintendo games on those. Well, you know, the Wii U, same thing. <laughs> yeah, true. So, like, I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, do your research, and then yeah, I'll look when at they them announce and see. which. That's going to be an interesting conversation because I really do wonder. I mean, obviously, I'm getting a Switch too, or whatever the heck it yeah, is, because I freaking be... love Nintendo. Yeah. But like, I just wonder if it's, there's a lot of people like, like my brother, like Tyler, he doesn't care for a switch, but he loves, he has a steam deck and he loves a steam deck. Interesting. Huh? Like, I wonder how many, how many young of the younger generation, is it, (laughs) I guess I I have a lot of questions. Is it like our generations that loves Nintendo the most? Does the younger generation even like Nintendo? I don't know. Besides like kids. Yeah, like I don't teenagers. Know. I guess I'm trying to say, do teenagers like the Switch? Uh, that's a good question. I wonder if there's been, I wonder if there's data on that. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna research that because yeah. I feel like teenagers, like Tyler, right? Like they like, at least from his from his view, and then I have his view. It's all Steam Deck or PC or or PS5. It's n- never never the Switch. Yeah. So is it like nostalgic where people our age or my dad's age like it and then obviously kids like it because it's kids, you know, fun? Mm, yeah. I'm very curious. I'm just curious how it will do with all these other options that could be taken away. Yeah. People yeah. who are on the fence about handheld. It'll probably have some weird gimmick with it too, though, to be fair. Like, no, that's, that's they, true. they do like it's putting not just in their weird... outright. Yeah. What would be their gimmick, though? I don't know. I didn't expect the Switch gimmick, like, and that changed yep. some stuff. So, all right. You know, I'm gonna for next week. I'm gonna have a couple questions. 
to talk about and that's going to be one of them so think about it what okay. do you think the next nintendo what what gimmick do you think the next nintendo system will have uh, yeah that's a good good question i'll think about it yeah and then i'll have a couple other questions just so we could discuss this randomly yeah no i like it i like it there's some things that just especially this this pc handheld gaming where i've kind of been doing my research on it and like i'm kind of interested but like i almost wonder if in a few years it will be even more common and a little cheaper <laughs> yeah yeah i think probably so but uh anyways that's just my off the cuff thoughts <laughs> yeah yeah interesting um uh, i'm i'm interested into looking into the specs on those as i've been looking at um stuff to upgrade my own pc because i just got a hard drive i'm thinking about getting a new processor and eventually a new graphics card so it'll be interesting i wonder what those compare. specs would be compared to yours like it's gonna be when's the last time we upgraded your specs uh i built this in 2016 <laughs> god i wonder like the the handhelds oh, can be stronger, isn't it? Yeah, they are for sure. My my That's graphics crazy, card at though, least. Isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. just crazy to me. It's really it, it it changes fast, man. Like Yeah, all yeah. technology, yeah. Yeah. Technology in general, you're right. Yep. All the phones are boring now. You notice that phone upgrades are so boring now. They used yeah. to be fun. Yeah. They I mean, all the phones are the same, and yeah, it's just... Yeah. Like, what else? I don't know. Phones are, like, I wish... Like, I have an iPhone. I'm Apple. I wish Apple would, like, do something unique. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I, I, yeah, no, seriously, right? That died with Steve Jobs. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to make that sound mean, but... No, I uh, I tend to agree. But I don't know. I just like I, honestly, even like the flip phones or the the uh, the foldable touchscreen phones I, sound cool to me. Like if they could figure out, I don't know. Maybe Apple will do that, but like in five years, the good thing with that uh, Apple is, uh, I mean, they copy people, but they do perfect it. Yeah, that's true. But they they definitely aren't innovative and. I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, just technology is fast, but it's kind of got to the point where it's kind of boring unless you're upgrading, you know, your PC or, or a, a gaming system. Yeah. But even TVs, I mean, how good can you get now? Does 8K even matter? I don't know. That's a good question. Like, how much can our eyes even? I think. I don't know. I haven't looked into it in a while, but I think you're. We can tell a difference. I don't know how much. I think it depends on how big the TV is. Um, yeah, like that makes at, sense too. At a certain point, the how small it is just like it doesn't matter. But then, like if it gets big enough, then you can tell a difference. Yeah, yeah. Well, That's from the last time I looked at it. I don't know. Like, is is it going from standard like 1080p to 4K? That has like what's a bigger difference? Can you tell between? Oh, 1080p yeah. and 4K or 4K and 8K? A 1080p to 4K for sure. Like on, I like could just on a like let's say a standard like 60, 65 inch TV. You know? Yeah, that's going to be the bigger difference. Yeah. But alrighty, well, that's all I got. So for next week, watch that Masters of the in the Air. Yep. Or of the Air. That first episode's Friday. The Flower or Killer of the Flower Moon. Uh, and then Percy Jackson. And then right. I do have a question as far as Nintendo, what their next gimmick is going to be. Yeah, nice. Sweet. Maybe as far as should, the theme. We, maybe we should do a Nintendo theme next week or something, or Mario or something. Okay, well, well let's do... That. Could you find questions about Nintendo history? Not necessarily games, but just Nintendo history? Probably, Yeah. That would be kind of interesting. Yeah, okay. I'll look into that, see if I can do it, and let you know. I'd like to learn some. I'm sure they have some interesting things. Yeah, like. definitely, and I'm sure some of it's out there. Yeah, cool. Sweet. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining the VGA podcast, and we will see you next week.
Peace.